So we have 600 members, and in the last nine years, this club has raised over 270,000. Now this one is And in America, the name of the household word. The international main guy, Mark Rowe. The man who I first saw run a convention, the first time I ever went to one, in Los Angeles, and he ran it very, very well, he's now the inter <laughs> the international... gentlemen, I've been asked to present this golden heart this evening, but before I do so, I'd like to say how very delighted I am to be here this evening. Uh, I can say that in all consciousness because I didn't know I was going to be given a check for 5,000 for turning up. <laughs> Now, I know that you've all been welcomed here by many people and that you're leaving tomorrow, most of you, but I'd like to add my personal welcome to all of you who've come here from abroad. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. <laughs> I hope you've survived the marathon convention. <laughs> and I hope you'll be in just as good form when you foregather next year. Now, I be more further from the truth. I've never done anything for, for variety. I've always got variety to do things for me. In fact, <clears throat> there is a playing field uh, not very far from here, along the Thames at Hurlingham, which is called the, I think it's called the American Playing Field or the Variety Club Playing Field, which was built and put into operation as a result of a, an evening matinee here, which was organized by the Variety Club, number 36, 10th year of, yeah. of England. And since then, I've kept them up to the mark, <laughs> and I can assure you, uh, they're very good at raising money for charities, and particularly any charities that I have any to do with. 
Now, Lord Nuffield, I've been asked to present you with this Golden Heart Award, which I do with the very greatest pleasure on behalf both of the Variety Club and of all the people who have benefited from your benefactions. people in the place I've ever met before. <laughs> and when I arrived here tonight, I wondered uh, what I should have to say if I were asked to speak. Anyway, I hardly know how to start. All that I can say for myself is that I've always tried to help those less fortunate than myself. And I think in doing so, I have gone on to medicine, teaching, and all that that goes to help those who are less fortunate than myself. <coughs> and I'd like to say that most of the things I have done have been brought about from that experience. I can say that the presentation of this Golden Heart tonight has been such a surprise to me. And I cannot thank this convention more for the wonderful thought in presenting it to me. <coughs> I have, in my time, mixed with medicine, I suppose. I wanted to be a surgeon when I was a youngster, and there was no money to be a surgeon with. So that had to go over the board. But anyway, I can only thank the Lord for that, because I think in surgery I could not have made as much money to give away anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the world and arrived at Fiji. I was about to get off the ship, and the aid from the governor arrived with an invitation for me to come up to lunch. I may say the boat was only staying for three hours. I arrived up to lunch and there was the Bishop of Fiji. Well, before I'd been there, half an hour I'd lost, lost the cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to be quite sure that this should <laughs> it shouldn't slip through. The bishop was coming to England on the same ship with me. <laughs> so I couldn't get out of that. <laughs> anyway, to the presentation of this Golden Heart, which I appreciate very much, and I can only promise that in the rest of my life, which at any rate can't be very long, I shall do my best to continue to help those who are less fortunate than myself. Right. 